Hello, welcome to the Girly Gardener, and today we are finally getting into planting carrots. I waited all year for this. Fall is my absolute favorite time because it's not hot, and I'm fat, so I don't like to be hot. Anyway, I have everything that I'm gonna use. A lot of people always ask me how I plant my carrots, and everything that I use is in this Dollar General basket that I accidentally stole from the Dollar General. And what I'm going to be doing is topping off that white container with some fresh soil because the only thing I grew in there was peppermint. So that's, that was just a cover crop to keep the soil loose. And then I'm going to fill up a five-gallon bucket. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. So as always, this is not sponsored. I just use black cow compost because I find that's what works best. Um, or most of the time it's really on sale. Compost is compost, but black cow compost is pretty decent for the price. Anyway, I'm growing carrots. So what I'm going through, what I'm doing is going through the soil and breaking up any big chunks because carrots like loose bloomy soil so that they can send their roots at straight down. So try to pick out any big sticks, any rocks, any big clumps of dirt if you want nice straight carrots. And then again, I'm adding worm castings for phosphorus, bone meal for phosphorus and calcium, and just a little bitty bit of blood meal because I am using, um, I'm doing this in the winter and I want the tops of my carrots to grow a little bigger than what I would like for them to grow in the spring, simply because it's cold and they're gonna need those tops to help them make photosynthesis. I'm also just going back in here and chopping up the dirt that is in the container and just trying to mix it all in. I was entirely too lazy to pick the entire container up, flip it in a wheelbarrow, and then mix it up like that. So I just did it the lazy way. It works. Just be careful not to stab your container with the shovel and put a hole in it. I've done that a lot. I let Nehemiah pick out the colors for this because I don't know she's spoiled and I just let her do whatever she wants when it comes to like growing stuff. So she picked out the coyote red, the red coyote carrot and the white Kruger, I think that's how you pronounce it, carrot and I'm just putting this in a little cute alternating pattern because by the time this is ready it will be Christmas so I'm gonna have like a Christmas pattern carrots. I'm, I'm so excited. I get excited for like the lamest stuff. But yes, for each hole, drop in two to three seeds and then cover it up. The tip to growing great carrots is making sure that you go back and thin them out. And like every seed is not gonna sprout 
I feel like carrot seeds are kind of on the dainty side. So, like, if they get roughed up in shipping and handling, then you might not have the best germination. So, all I'm doing is putting three to four seeds per hole and closing up the hole. And then I'm going to go back and do that with my other variety of carrots to close up the hole and water it in very well. Because I fertilized it, um, because I fertilized the soil in the wheelbarrow, I will not go back over and sprinkle any extra fertilizer on this like I did in my previous video. Simply because this is in a container, the fertilizer will be more contained. It's not going to like leak out as bad as it would in my in-ground um, garden because I have poor drainage in my in-ground garden. Which is why I'm not doing carrots in garden this year. And once I water it in with my regular water, I'm going to go in with my water and fish emulsion and water it in with that. If you follow these steps, thinning, fertilizing, watering, you will have a great place. Oh, and keep the ducks out your garden. The ducks and the chickens, they will destroy everything. But if you follow what I do to the teeth, you will have a good heart. So if you follow those steps, you just seen me harvest these carrots. These are the first carrots of the season. I am about to put these in some baked chicken. Oh, varieties, Atomic Red, Cosmic Purple, Ox Heart. Um, yep, all right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining the Curly Gardener. Y'all have a good one.